All right, today we're going over two Sony shotgun microphones, the original ECM B1M microphone, and this brand new Sony shotgun mic that is quite a bit smaller, as you can see, and has eight different shooting modes. So let's get right into this video. What's up guys, if you're new here, my name is Paul and I run a channel that inspires other creators. That your future is whatever you make it, I do the gear reviews, tutorials. And first off we have the ECM B1M, which you are currently hearing right now. And there are three different modes with this microphone. You have the Super, the Uni, and the Omni directional modes. In addition you have the noise cancelling mode and the low cut filter. But my favorite feature of the microphone is that you have zero cables with this hot shoe and that auto mode, which you can just slap on top of your Sony camera and not think about anything while you're recording, which is a fantastic feature and the one reason why you choose this microphone over other brands out there. And so we have the Super Directional, which is your front-facing microphone sound, your Uni, which just kind of expands that, and then you have the Omni, which is 360 degrees around the microphone. Now, there is a downside to that Omni mode, which I love using for shooting behind the camera and showcasing while talking, however, you get all that extra background noise that you have when you're shooting in that omnidirectional mode and talking behind the camera. Which leads me to the new Sony shotgun microphone, which is very similar to the ECM B1M with the major difference is it has eight different shooting modes to better tailor your sound. And as you're looking at this dial on the back, which I have to mention also locks in place, which is a huge benefit over the ECM B1M, I found myself kind of accidentally nicking some of those switches. And with this, it's kind of like one of your, your Sony camera dial. You can just kind of lock that in place and it stays there, which is really cool. So looking at this dial, the first three settings are front directional facing settings. And the first setting is ultra, which is a very narrow directional front facing pattern on this shotgun microphone. So it's really gonna be great for standing directly in front of it and eliminating all other surrounding noises. And the second dial is super, which just ex kind of expands upon that ultra and which is very similar to the setting that is on the ECM B1M. Then you have the third setting, which is uni which just kind of even widens that even more and gets you more of a round which is probably better for two people in the frame or whatnot you have your vlogging and then the next setting is omnidirectional which is the same exact one that's on the ecm b1m which is 360 degrees all the way around the microphone and the next four dials is what really separates itself from the ecm b1m which is its rear facing microphone settings the first dial is ultra directional rear facing microphone which is the same sort of thing as your front but you're right behind the camera rejecting all the front and only getting the rear for the most part. And the next dial is a front and rear directional setting so you get behind the camera and in front of the camera which is great for when you're vlogging you know facing somebody else possibly where you're behind the camera but you also have a subject in the frame that you need to get audio source from which in this setting it records in a mono mix and the next mode is the exact same thing however it's recorded in a left and a right channel instead of a mono so you have better control over those audio levels you can take apart the left and the right side and better mix those which is great for possibly interview style or once again vlogs where you want to really have more control over the audio levels based on which direction you're facing and the last mode, which is the first for Sony, is a stereo mode, which is great for concert halls or where your train's whizzing by, and you really want to get that immersive feel in the sound, which you're probably really only going to hear while you're wearing stereo headphones or stereo speakers, but it's a really cool feature that they add in a size microphone like this. And one more thing to note is while you're changing all these different modes, you can do that while recording. However, you just want to be mindful of the little bit of a handling noise that you might hear as it's clicking into place, but it's a really cool that you can switch between these modes while recording. And now let's go ahead and jump into getting a sound sample of what this sounds like versus the ECM with all these different modes. Obviously, you're only gonna really be able to compare it to the three comparable modes that are on the ECM, but we will go ahead and hear all these other different stereo modes on this microphone. All right, so now we are on the ECM B1M in the ultra shooting mode. There's no noise canceling on, so, you know, we're. It's not too loud out here, but you can hear some bugs stripping the background. Uh, it's pretty, it's not that windy out here, so it's not a really great test for the, the wind muff, but this is what that sounds like. And now I'm gonna turn on the noise canceling mode on this microphone so you can hear what has been removed. Now we have the noise canceling mode on. You know, you definitely hear the dynamics of my voice, listen to the, the background. Can you hear a big difference? Do you still like the sound or do you prefer it without the noise canceling turned on? Your ears will be the judge. And now here we are on the unidirectional. Obviously it just kind of expands on that front 
the directional of this microphone, and there's no noise canceling on right now. And now we just turned on the noise canceling for the uni mode, so you can, to your ears, you can hear what that difference sounds like. Do you like it? Do you don't like it? What can you hear? I'll be quiet for a little bit too. And now we're here on the Omni mode, so I can like walk around this camera and you can completely hear me and you might be able to hear some of my foot, foot shuffling through the grass, whatnot, just kind of be mindful of those things. And now we'll go ahead and I'll be quiet for a little bit and we'll turn the noise canceling on. And now we've turned on the noise canceling, so I'm gonna go ahead and walk around the camera again, see how much of my feet shuffling can you hear, can you hear how much nature can you hear. I'm just walking all the way around this microphone and once again, I'll shut my big mouth. Now let's go switch over to this brand new Sony shotgun microphone and see how this bad boy sounds. And now we're on this brand new Sony shotgun microphone. We can really hear the differences between these two, how much low end, how much, I'm really curious to hear that for myself because I haven't really heard it yet. This is a, a test for me as well, but we are in the ultra sound here. So it's very directional right in front of the microphone and there is no noise canceling on. So I can, you can see as I walk around to the side, see how much noise gets cut off over here. I'm walking right now behind the microphone and you can see how much noise is cut. I'm talking to you right behind the microphone and I'm walking back around now and I'm back into the shot. So you can kind of hear and, and see what that difference is like. Let's go ahead and turn the noise canceling on now and we'll do the same test again. So now the noise canceling is turned on still in this ultra directional mode and I'm gonna kind of walk around the camera and do that same exact test again. It'll be very interesting to see how the noise canceling works with this. I am now directly right behind the camera, if you can even hear me right now. And we're going back around, and now I am back in the frame again, once again. How is this sound of ears? And now we're in the super mode, which is the same mode that's on the ECM B1M. I actually feel some wind gusts going on. I'm curious if you can hear that. As you can see, it's a little bit wider, not as tight. So I can kind of hear what this sounds like when I'm kind of walking around in front of the camera. I'm not really going to walk around the back again, but you can get the gist. Now let's go ahead and turn the noise canceling on. Now the noise canceling is turned on. How much of this wind noise does it cut out if you had any? And I'm going to kind of walk her off to the side here and see how much is the canceling working and then I'll be quiet. And now we switch to the uni mode, which is also the same mode that you have on the ECM B1M. It just, you know, widens that frame up a little bit. And I'm going to walk over here, see, talk, and to see how much, how wide of a, a noise you get out of these. Let's hear the test, the audio, one, two, three, these are the side. And we're going to go to Omni mode. This is the Omni mode, which is you also have on the ECM B1M. And this is just obviously the 360, so I'm going to go ahead and walk around again so you can kind of hear what that sounds like. I'm now directly behind the microphone. There's a little bit of wind around here. I can feel that right now. And uh, you can now see what that sounds like. We're going to go ahead and turn the noise canceling on again and do that same exact walk around. Now the noise canceling is turned on. You know, I feel a little bit of the same wind going on. I'm right behind the camera now, so we can kind of hear what that sounds like. And we're back here in the front, and we'll just kind of let, you know, let the... And uh, I just got to give a big thank you to uh, my buddy Kyle Watts, which is actually here. Hey, Paul. Hey, bud. Uh, uh, filming this uh, video here. And uh, he, he brought this uh, Sony mic, and so we can kind of do a lot of tests together. But I just want to thank him for, for bringing this along. He actually needs to help me now as we go into the next section of these tests where we're going to be doing front and rear tests of the audio, which these modes are not, obviously, on the ECM B1M. All right, so now we uh, we turn to our uh, our better looking content creator right here, Mr. Kyle Watts. I am in the back facing microphone. I do feel some winds. I'm curious how much that will cut out. What what do you think about this microphone, Kyle? Um, the little I've actually got to hear it so far from the test we did at Universal Studios. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's uh, very good for content creators, especially if you have two people, because that's where modes like this are going to really kind of come in handy. Now I'm going to go ahead and switch this mode right now in the middle of recording. You were just hearing just the rear. Now we're going to do both front and rear. So now you should be able to hear Kyle a lot better this time. Yeah, right. So the little bit you got to hear of this microphone is when me and Paul went to Universal Studios yesterday, mainly as kind of the like debut test of this mic. So I've only heard a little bit of it so far in post. Uh, but I really like that you can separate that front and rear microphone because there's so many times, Paul, where we were walking around, I'm behind the camera aiming at you, talking to you, and I'm talking too. So, like, we need to both be on mic. 
generally what you've done in the past is either turn it to omnidirectional like on that bike which really starts to introduce like a lot of noise that you don't want in that scenario because you want to eliminate the sides you want just the speaker in front and behind the camera so uh, otherwise you're using like a, a Rode video micro or something like that and you're just talking really loud from behind the camera which never really sounds great but you can still hear it enough to where it gets its point across so having this separation here is really cool uh, now before when you change it Paul the next setting is like that left and right stereo for the front and rear what I really like about this is there's times where maybe you're holding the camera really close to yourself and I'm talking to you Paul oh yeah it happens and I'm all like the time, really yeah. loud and you're a few feet away so on post it's going to be like i'm very loud and you're not that's where that stereo split helps so that we can split that in post and then we can adjust the levels from there and then we can mix that back down into mono and then you have like a good audio source so having that left and right thing is gonna be really good for like interviews too because sometimes you're interviewing a person that might be this far from the camera they're not going to be as loud sounding or maybe as good sounding as you will be right behind the camera so having the ability to split that is just perfect so absolutely and let's switch it over now so now I've switched it over to a left and right stereo, so you should be able to separate both Kyle and I's voice in case he talks a little softer, I might talk a little louder, or maybe we talk over each other a little right. bit and you can have a better, you know, split that well, up One thing better. that's really useful for this too is that sometimes when you're behind the camera and now I'm talking in front of the camera, maybe the person behind the camera is like <laughs> sniffling or you know, making <coughs> cough noises and stuff like that. You can kind of cut that Lizard. out, which is really <coughs> nice. Sucks. Yeah. <laughs> so right now, Paul, I'm sure when you're showing this video, you're going to show this clip so far as like a left and right channel. Right. And then if you want to show it now where you cut it down and mix it into mono, you can do that. So absolutely. Yeah. Well, it'll be a very good test to see and play with it. Yep. But once again, this has been all in auto mode. So we live in letting the microphone and the camera decide on the levels, which is just a I, I really love that feature for yep. both these microphones. Yep. Anyway, it's been really nice on the go because this this microphone is going to be kind of it's been made for like content creators who are on the go. So you have that forward and rear microphone, you have the, the, like the different modes, you have the noise cancellation, which seemed to work pretty good yesterday. Um, it did maybe sound a little more nasally at the park because I think it was trying to isolate so much of the noise that it affected the main sound. Uh, but it's so small and compact, like I think this is going to be like an awesome mic for content creators who are just on the go and you don't want to screw around with volume levels on the go. No, it's, and it's, it's definitely smaller, too, than the ECM B1M. It seems like it's actually even a little bit smaller than the B10. Mm -hmm. So this is a, if it's a, this could be a really power workhorse. And like I said, I love the ability to, to lock the mode. I, I find that a lot of the times on the B1M and the B10, they just, you, you can accidentally nick a, yep. a dial and knock it out of place. So. Yep, I definitely did that a couple times on my B1M, so. Now, right now, I switched into stereo mode, and you're probably not going to be able to really tell too much unless you are wearing some, you know, head stereo headphones, or you have a set of stereo speakers that you're listening on. Maybe you're listening to your freaking awesome Sony TV with your Sony surround system or something like that, but uh, this is kind of like the stereo mode, and I, as I'm walking back and forth, you should really kind of hear me panning to either side of your speakers but you can like let that be a little small step test for the stereo mode now let's this one of the biggest things about this microphone is uh it, it looks the same shock mount a lot of people were saying that they didn't really like the shock mount of the b1m well let's we're gonna go ahead and vlog and handhold this and try to get some sort of a noise out of this this microphone is a little bit smaller so in my eyes, I'm thinking maybe there won't be nearly as much handling noise with this one just because the mic is smaller and lighter uh, than the B1M, but we'll, we'll, we'll see and let your ears be the judge. All right, so now I'm going to be vlogging with this. I'm, like, I'm kind of not going to be like too you know, careful with this. I'm kind of moving it around, see if I can get any handling noise out of this. Um, and just kind of, you know, just it might not look the prettiest, but we are going to just kind of like not be careful with this. I can see the microphone moving around a little bit. That shock mount can be moving and doing its work. Uh, so if you don't hear this, I don't think you're going to get too much handling noise out of it if you're right now, especially because I'm not really being gentle with this. And as you can see, we'll, we'll switch over to the, the B1M now and see what kind of handling noise I can get out of that. I know that I have heard some in the past, but, you know, I don't know. The, the, the shock mounts aren't as bad as everybody says they are. All right, now I switched to the ECM B1M. We'll get some handling noise, see if we can hear anything with this mic. I'm kind of vlogging and walking kind of quickly. And let me just stop talking so you, maybe you can hear something. Now that was my feet. Let me let me stop that. Let's let's walk. Can you hear any handling noise? 
All right, right now we're on the ECM B1M. And test the audio. One, two, check one, two, three. And now we are on the same exact setting as the B1M, the super mode. Test one, two, check one, two, three. And now since the ECM B1M doesn't have this mode, we're in the ultra mode on the new Sony shotgun. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. So to close this all out, both these microphones are really great. They have the convenience. They don't have the cables dangling down. You don't have to worry about charging them. However, where this new Sony microphone really shines is those eight different shooting modes that can help you create content in the ways that you need to have it created. So which microphone did you like better? Which one sounded better to you? Let me know down in the comments below. And this video has been helpful to you. Hit that like button. And if you want to see more content like this, please hit that subscribe button. And you guys know that I will see you in the future.